Hi there, Pete from Craft Sellers here. Uh, I've got another whiskey to tell you all about. Um, this time what we're looking at is another Craft Sellers exclusive. Um, this is from the guys at Carmore. So they've provided us with a bottling of Bunahaven, which is nine years old, a wonderful cask and uh, a really um, uh, lovely little dram, particularly uh, if you're into kind of sherry bomb whiskies. Uh, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about it as I pour. So this is bottled at 57.9%. Uh, there's 150 bottles that we received of this, so stocks are limited. Um, so obviously, Bunahaven whiskey, um, I've been a fan for a long, long time. It's an Isla single malt. Uh, and most of the time the peat influence in Bunahaven is either not there at all or it's pretty much undetectable. I think in this instance you probably put it into the category of unpeated. Every time I try this I almost want to say that there is like this little touch of smoke in there but putting that to one side everything else about this whiskey is exceptional so let me just tell you what I'm getting straight away from the nose here. So obviously this is a first fill sherry cask, this is going to provide a lot of kind of rich dark fruit, kind of dry fruit uh, character. You are getting things like something like a mocha-ish kind of note. Um, also things like m maybe nutmeg as well. Very inviting. Um, yeah, uh, that's actually a lovely smell. I'm going to give it a little taste, tell you about it. So it's actually very big. There's lots of concentration of flavors there. So I'm gonna try and break it down a little bit for you. Um, so I would say probably something like tobacco is probably the first thing that kind of hits the palate. The chocolatey note is there as well. That kind of nutmeggy thing is there, but there's other spice too. So maybe touches of things like cinnamon, maybe mace, that kind of thing. Um, there is a kind of savoury element to it as well. Um, something kind of approaching a jerky-ish kind of note, but not intense. It's just like a kind of little subtle part to the flavour profile here. On the finish, you know, you're getting that kind of residual kind of almost like coffee bean kind of flavour um, and that kind of tobacco and also maybe leather kind of complexion as well. So that's gorgeous like I really am happy with this one um, definitely I would suggest if you guys like a sherried whiskey you definitely want to grab this one uh, while it lasts so yeah thanks very much cheers